everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, uh, I know I haven't posted any origami videos in a very, very long time. So, but here's another one. Just to tell you, it is pretty complex. This, But this one is a Hercules beetle. As you can see how, how lifelike it looks. But it will take some skills and effort to make it. And also, since this is an origami model, you'll need to cut an 8.5 by 11 or A4 sheet of paper into a square. So this is how to do it. I've explained it on my F14 Tomcat video, but I'll do it again just in case. Fold. So here's what we'll do. We'll keep it like this and then fold this edge to this edge. To, to the other edge. Make sure it's very accurate or else you won't have a perfect square. And since this is a complex model, you really do need a perfect square after all. It's a very complex model. I mean, like, not not too much of a complex model. Okay, so now we'll use our scissors to cut. Just, I, I have to make it really accurate. Okay, so now just take that strip of paper off, and as you have a triangle, just unfold that, and then you'll have a square. And now, as you can see, we folded it in there, so in fact, the first step is to fold it in half from this edge to this edge. And then we will unfold it, and then fold this edge to this edge. There you go. And now we will unfold it. And now we will flip it over. And then fold this edge here. Down to this edge. As you can see, we're about to do the water bomb base. Unfold that. And then we will do the same thing here. Just to create the center crease. And now we will unfold that. And now we will flip it over. And then poke this point here. Well, you know what? We'll do this thing, this stuff on the other side. So you will poke this point. And then that will let us make the water bomb base. We'll pull these two in. And then you see we'll have a triangle that's. Go, um, not flat, it'll just flatten it. And now, as you can see, we have the water bomb base. As you, as you can see, it's a triangle that has these flaps in it. Sorry about that. Just trying to, okay, there you go. And now, here's what we'll do. We will fold this edge into the center. And now we will unfold that. And then fold this edge to the center too, but upwards, not like the down part. Now we will kind of, okay, now we will unfold that. And then here's what we'll do. We will reverse this crease, the crease that we made, just made, just like that. And then after that, we have uh, a triangle over here. I mean, uh, yeah, a triangle. So now we will unfold that, and here's what we'll do. We will gather fold this edge into the center. Just like that. You see? Like this, and then we will gather fold it into the center, making a valley crease right over here. And now what we'll do is, you see this crease here? We're just gonna fold it, we're just gonna fold it into this corner. Just like that. Now that will make the top very na more narrower, as you can see. 
and now but now we will actually unfold this unfold all of that and then we will squash fold this flap as you can see each flap has a two layers in them And then here's what we'll do. You see this line here, right? This line in the middle. What we'll do with it is we will fold on it. Just like that. Gather this part here. And fold on these lines. Sorry, kind of get got wrinkly there. There you go. Okay, sorry, little got got a little wrinkly there. Then we will fold it down. Make sure to have everything clean. And now, as you can see, we have it like this. So now you see everything good. Now what we're about to do is a squash fold. But before that, we will just lay this layer to one side, any side, left or right, either side. And we will fold this edge down to the center. Now we will open up. Now we will squash fold this. We made that crease so it's more easier for us to squash. And then what, right, what we're going to do right now is a petal fold. We'll, b before that, we'll make the reference creases. Fold this edge into the center. And fold this edge into the center too. And then, now what we're going to do is, ouch, that hurt. Okay, and then we'll unfold both of those, and those creases will help us do the petal fold. Just like that, we'll fold these in. This so reaches the center. Just like that. And now what we'll do is, so now we've done the petal fold. You see we have this flap in the middle. We're just going to fold that flap down. And now this is a very, very tricky part. But the first but the first part of this step isn't very hard. So first we'll just fold this edge into the center. It's very thick, I know. And do the same thing on this other side. Now here's the tricky part. We'll unfold that. And then what we'll do is, open sink so you see we'll, we're gonna open this side and then make and then fold on that crease and then fold on this crease first so it goes inside so yeah now it will go inside I'll fold on the other crease and now you'll fold this part down just like that. And now, here, and so, and so now, you see we made it thinner. Now we open sync that fold. I know it was really difficult, but that's the only way I can teach how to do it. So now we will fold this edge, and, well, now we will fold those, make those into a mountain creases. And then hold on those creases, make those a mountain. Okay, just like that. And then we will fold this edge in here. And then that's how we open sync these folds. Now the the batter, now the thing is we have to repeat all those steps on on this side, this side. And this side. Don't worry, I'll speed that up. In three, two, one, we'll speed up.
Okay, now that was really long. Now, as you can see, we have both of them good. Now, to make uh, the le now we're making the legs. But first, to make them more skinnier, to make it more look more like the real insect, you have to do something. So you see, you have to fold in on this line, on this line here. You fold that in on that line, just like that. And we will do the same thing on this other side. Just like that. So you see, this will be the, this will be the top, this will be the bottom. Now we did that on both sides, and now what we will do is we will fold this edge into this into the center crease. You see where this this where this fold are? We're gonna fold that into the center crease too. Okay, and now we will do the same thing on this side. I accidentally did it on both sides. There, like that. And now, we, and then we will close that. And now you'll see we will make the legs. Now first, now the first leg is we will, uh, we will fold this leg. We will fold this, this will be the front legs. We will, we will fold this part here to make the, first legs or actually the back legs yeah to make the back legs just like that and now we will do the same thing here but we're putting it a little bit more up here to make the the middle ones and then we will do Wait, where's the there? And now we will fold this edge up and so we will swivel fold this edge up. But not but now we're, we're not gonna do it that much. We're just gonna fold it down like that. Or actually we're gonna swivel fold it. It's pretty hard to swivel fold this layer because it's thick. Very thick layers. Let's see if there are any more layers I could pull up. Uh, yeah, okay, this one's good. Okay, so now we did that. Okay, so now we will, now you see this part, we're just gonna fold that in. And then we will repeat all those four steps on the other side.
Okay, so now we're now that we're done with that. Wait, I'm just gonna hold that in. Okay, so now what we'll do is you see to make the back. You see, which is 3D here. You will just kind. You see this middle part. We're just gonna push it like that. Kind of push to make the back push. Push and push. Wait, actually, I'm doing on the wrong one. We're supposed to push like that. Pull, pull, and pull. Keep pulling. Keep pushing. Keep doing it. Okay, now there. We put kind of slipped off. Okay, so now you see we pushed it like that. I have to do it more. Okay, so now. Well, here, so now we are done with the back. It's all 3D. Everything's fine. No problems. Okay, so now we will make the the back now. We'll just fold this in and then wait a sec. Fold this in and then fold this part back out. Just like that. And now here's what we'll do. Oh, I just, just, just have to fold that part in back in. Now you see we will make make the make uh, two creases that that intersect. You see, you see, I made them by pushing this edge to one side and to the other. And then here, this is this one, this one, this is what gives the bug its name. It's a Hercules beetle because of the sharp front that's what we're making right now so now as you can see we made the sharp front now we'll make the the segments i think they're called segments i think you see we'll we'll kind of make a crimp fold using this kind of make a crimp crimp fold just like that and that will help us push it down easily that will that will make the Actually, we're trying to make it 3D here. I'm trying to make it 3D. Okay, like that. And now we will crimp fold this. Just like that. And now we so now that we made it, we're going to do the same thing over here, over here, over here, and over here. Let's speed up. And now, Origami Hercules Beetle is finished. I hope you guys were able to fold this. I know it's very, very difficult. And I know it's very difficult, but, you know, it's worth the try. And I'll see you next time.